welcome back to my channel, Curbs Dreamland, where anything is possible if you just believe. Today's video is about cradle cap. And if the cradle cap is bothering you like it bothers me, I have a couple of tools and a couple of steps that you can use at home to help your baby get rid of the cradle cap. Recently, I found out Frida. It's a line, a baby line that has these unusually great products. It really works really well. All Frida products work really well. What exactly is Cradle Cap? Basically is an overactive sweat oil glands that clogs the hair follicle, which creates this uh, scaly-like dry skin that you can find on your baby's scalp. It does say that it only lasts a couple months and it usually resolves itself. So this next video is pretty much a couple of quick tips that you can use at home to help speed up your cradle cap journey. So let's get to the video. Take a moment and gather up these essential materials. So we have the two wash racks, one for washing and one for keeping the baby warm. Place this over her belly. I'm gonna start off with the the happy cappy. You're supposed to leave it on for I think it says a couple couple three minutes. So we're gonna start by doing that. It's like a creamy consistency. She don't got much hair, so we ain't gonna use a lot. <laughs> so this is supposed to loosen up the cradle cap. She really doesn't have a lot of cradle cap anymore. I've used this probably, this is my third or fourth time using it. So I'm just gonna put it in here and lather it up really well. And then I'm gonna let it sit while I wash the rest of her body. It's supposed to be good for your skin too. Uh, if you have like some eczema, psoriasis, or some scaly or dry skin, it's supposed to help with that. It smells pretty good. Kind of like uh, a baby oil and a shea butter type of thing. Okay, so we're going to wash the baby up. And I just use a Dove soap bar just because her skin is pretty sensitive to anything else. So I can't use any baby perfume, um, baby magic, anything like that. Now we're gonna use the Frida line. It comes with a comb and this bristle brush and this sponge. And these two things are going to help break up the cradle cap on the top of Jay's head. So I'm gonna wet, wet the comb and kind of comb through the front. We're gonna wet the bristle brush. And then I'll try not to get this soap in her eyes. I'm not sure how baby friendly it is. It does say happy cappy, so I'm assuming that it's it's baby friendly, but you know what they say about assuming. Right? So we're just gonna try to keep it out of her eyes. I'm gonna use the comb again to see if it broke up any more of the cradle cap. And it's really right here in the front, so that's where I'm kind of playing close attention to. And it works really well. I'm gonna show you the comb after um, I'm done combing through the front. See? That's all the little cradle cap kind of gross. And I swear that the cradle cap used to have this little weird smell and nobody else smelled it but me, but she, it definitely has a smell and the smell went away. Second time I used it, I didn't really smell the cradle cap anymore. I just seen, I can just see where it's at. And I only do this maybe once a week, once every 10 days. I, you know, wash it near baby's hair too much can just dry it out. And Ah! And it doesn't seem 
seem to hurt her or bother her. Like it doesn't seem like it itches. I don't know. Um, the cradle cut probably really just bothers me. And then I don't necessarily try to get all of it. I feel like that's kind of going to irritate her scalp some. So I'll just comb out the stuff that's coming out. And then I just usually am just done for this treatment. But it definitely looks a thousand percent better. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of breast milk to rinse some of the cradle cap off. And then we'll just use some to put on our body too. Since we're, so we're not wasting any of this milk and under her neck. And then I also have the baby hair grower that I made in a video before. I'll put a card here and it'll link you to the video of how to make this baby hair grower. And I did keep this in the refrigerator. I don't know if everybody does, but I kept mine in the fridge. I'm just gonna put some of this on here. It smells really good. And for the bubble bath, I did use this. Oh, it's plant-based vegan uh, shampoo, and it's lavender. And I usually try to use lavender stuff because lavender is so calming, and who doesn't want a calm baby like all the time? So if I have to choose between lavender or regular, I'm always gonna go with lavender. We're gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the breast milk to rinse it off. Ready to get out? Are you done? Are we done? Are you done playing with me? Using breast milk, you know, if you ever decided to pump and store it and use it for a baby bath or crater cup or shampoo or for the baby's neck, so many different things you can use breast milk for. There's never a reason to pump and dump. This tub is the absolute best. You know, all the other tubs go in the bathtub, and if you don't have knees like Megan, you are going to be aching, honey. So this one just goes on your sink, and when they're infant, they sit on this side, and then when they get a little bigger and can sit up, they kind of transfer over to this side. So this, this tub is the bomb. This was actually Drew's tub, that's why it's blue. And I had got one for her for the tub, and it's pink, and Shit. I was sweating bullets after I gave her a bath. All right, and then have your hooded towel ready for her when she gets out. I got her a little unicorn towel. Look at this. Give me get. Give me get. You want to get out? All right, and there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I'll see you next time.